how to find data and how to use it effectively. That's what we're gonna talk about over the next few minutes on this video, so stay tuned. Welcome back to this Global Health YouTube channel. My name is Greg Martin. Today we're gonna to have a look at one of many great places on the internet where you can find data that you're gonna find useful. I'm gonna talk you through how to download the data and then using Microsoft Excel, using a function called VLOOKUP, I'm gonna talk you through exactly how to extract the bits and pieces of the data that you're gonna find most useful. So before we carry on, I just wanna say two things. The first is that I promise you this is not difficult. So if you're not used to Microsoft Excel, not to worry, I'm gonna talk you through this step by step. And the second is that I can almost guarantee you that you're gonna find this useful at some point in time. So stay tuned. Right, so there are lots of places on the internet that you can find data related to global health. In this video, we're just gonna look at one place, but in other videos, we'll look at others. And in this particular example, we're gonna look at an example of looking for HIV data. We're gonna look at HIV and tuberculosis and how many patients are on ART. So I'm searching for HIV data. This is taking me to the UNAIDS site. UNAIDS is the UN agency for coordinating the fight against HIV. Down on the right over here, you can see data tools. And if you go down slightly, you can see AIDS info. Click on that. Now at the site, there's a, a range of different information you can look for. If you click on any of these icons down here, the map will change and you'll see uh, uh, if you're looking for treatment information, et cetera, et cetera, it pops up. These maps are quite flashy. They're quite impressive, but they're not useful for you if you're wanting to make a presentation or you're needing data to uh, put together a grant application or a piece of research. You actually want that data in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet so that you can do with it what you want. So in this case, I'm gonna click on the little picture of lungs here, and we can see that the information that we're looking at now is HIV and TB patients on ART. And what I'm very happy about in terms of this site is if you scroll down, you'll see an option for data in Excel. So we'll click on that, download the data, and then take a look in Excel at what we can do with it. Okay, here we are. Uh, we're in Microsoft Excel. This is the data sheet exactly as it was downloaded from the web page that we were looking at. Now we might not be interested in all the countries and all the years, and in this example, I'm just gonna look at three years and three countries and show you how we can summarize this data and pull it together into something that's a bit more useful. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new sheet. That's very important. When you download data, leave the first sheet, the sheet that has the original data, leave that alone. Don't do analysis, don't do changes, et cetera, et cetera. You want that to stay as your reference point unchanged because in Excel, things can get a bit messy and you always wanna know that you can go back to a piece of data that you know is reliable. Okay, so we've created a little sheet here. We've created a table. This is the data that we want. In this case, we're just looking at three countries in three years. In reality, of course, you might want many more than that. Now, I've typed in the countries that I wanna look at, Brazil, Kenya, South Africa, and I'm gonna show you how to get, write a little formula so that it'll go and fetch the data and populate this table for us. Now, you may type in the name of the country incorrectly, and then it's not gonna go and fetch the data correctly. So I'm gonna suggest that you not type them in and you use another, you use another little trick that I'll show you to even get the name of the country sucked in from the original spreadsheet. Select the cells where the country names are gonna go in. In data, go to validate, click on list, and then it wants to know what will the source of this list be. Click on the little icon over there and that allows you to go and fetch a list. And now it's asking you just to tell it what list you want to use and select all the countries. Re-click on the icon, click on OK. And now when you wanna put a country in there, you click on this little button there and you can go and find Brazil and it sticks it in. Right, now this is where the fun begins. We're gonna use a formula in Microsoft Excel to tell this table to go and fetch the data from the other table. Right, so we use a VLOOKUP, it's called a vertical lookup, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna to say to Microsoft, look, we want you to look in this cell over here, find the word Brazil, go back to the table that we were in before, find Brazil in this table, go along a few columns until we get to the column that corresponds to 2006 and bring that piece of data and pop it into this cell over here. So let's do that. So let's have a quick look at the formula. You always start off with equals VLOOKUP, open brackets, and then Microsoft actually tells you in this little helper thing down here what it is that it wants. And in between each parameter, you put a comma. So the first is the VLOOKUP value, so we're gonna tell it to look for Brazil. The next is the lookup the table array, that's the table that it needs to look in. And before we type that in, I wanna show you a little trick just to make this easier for you. If we go back to the table where our data is and select all the data that we're gonna be looking at, we can give that array of data a name. So in this case, we're gonna call it all data. All underscore data, you can't put spaces. 
Now when we want a formula to look at that particular piece of data, that particular set of data, we type in the word all data and it'll know that that's what we've talked about. Right, back at the VLOOKUP, let's type it in. So equals VLOOKUP, open brackets, the lookup value will be Brazil. You could type the word Brazil in, but we wanted to fetch it from a cell. Then comma, table array is all underscore data, comma, column index in this case is five, comma, false. Right, and we said five because it'll be in the fifth column along that we find the values for 2006. And there we have the value for Brazil in 2006. We don't want to retype that formula in into every single cell in our table, right? Because if we were doing a much bigger table, that would take a lot of time and it would be very difficult. Something you can do in Excel is you can drag a formula down into the right. The problem that you faced with is that as you drag a formula, the cells that the formula refers to also shift around. In other words, if I drag this formula over to the right, at the moment it's looking, the A4 is looking at Brazil, but if I dragged it one to the right, it would look not in column A, but in column B for the, for the next country, and that would, it wouldn't find anything. It would find a number instead of a country. The other problem that we've created is that in this formula, we've told it to look at column five for the values for 2006. We've stuck in an absolute number, the number five. That number five will stay the same. And so as we drag the formula from right to left, wanting it to look at 2007 and 2008, it's gonna keep looking in column five. So we actually want this number to change. We want that to go from five to six to seven as we drag it from left to right. Now, not to worry, these problems are easily fixed. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create three reference points for it to look at when it's looking for column numbers. So I'm gonna put in a five here, a six there, and a seven there. And I'll show you how to use that in a second. I'm going to go back to my formula and I'm going to say instead of looking at the number 5, I'm going to delete 5 and instead I'm going to say look at what value is in that cell, which is 5, and use that instead. This is possibly the only tricky part of the presentation, but watch closely, it's not that difficult. We want to make this formula draggable. So let's look at the formula. We've got A4, which is telling the VLOOKUP where to find the country. Now notice the countries are always in column A, so the A which is the column, we put a dollar sign in front of it, and that tells the VLOOKUP to preserve column A, to never look in any other column except A when it's been dragged around from left to right and up and down. Similarly, the E7 is telling it what column to look at, so that's a five in this case, it needs to look in column five of the original spreadsheet to get the 2006 data. We wanna preserve the row seven because all of our values, the five, the six, and the seven, all exist in row seven. So we put a dollar sign in front of the seven. Now let's see if this formula is draggable. And voila, there's your data. And of course, we can change any of these parameters if we changed Kenya to Ghana, for example. All the figures in the cells change correspondingly. Okay, so I mentioned that this video was gonna be part of a series of videos that look at data, how to find it and how to use it. So just briefly, how to find the rest of the videos. Now at this point, there won't be the rest of the videos because this is the first one. But if you go to the YouTube channel, which is on the screen right now, and if you scroll down, you'll see the different playlists that we've got and the different videos that we've got. And you can click on any of these playlists and go to the videos in that playlist. Or if you go right to the top over here, and if you have a look, we've got the word playlist there, you can click on that, and that's gonna take you to a list of all the playlists. Add any of these playlists, you can click on the full view of the videos in that playlist, and there's all the videos in that particular playlist. Okay, so you'll be able to find more of the videos on data, how to find it, how to use it on the YouTube channel right over here. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Remember that you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already by clicking on the subscribe button and you'll get an email alert whenever there's a new video posted. If you don't know how to find the channel, you can go to www.youtube.com forward slash Dr. Greg Martin or simply click on Global Health with Greg Martin that you'll see underneath any of the videos and that'll take you to the homepage. Thanks for watching. Until next time, don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.